What is good, everyone? Welcome live to Vindication, episode number seven. We are set for another Bullet Club Initiation Tour matchup for the Miz. Revolutionary Championship is on the line, as you know, and we're going to turn it over to Miz to start off our show. Oh, and Kevin Owens looking to make his presence known here. You know, in episode six, he did tell Sami Zayn that he would be answering the challenge, and here he is. To stay out of his way. And it looks like he's on a mission, Brad. He's coming right to the ring. He's not wasting any time. Miz has definitely got his work cut out for him here tonight against the Kevin Owens. Well, Miz ready for him. Yeah, he's telling him to bring it on here. The bell has rang, and here we go. Kevin Owens and Miz mixing it up already here as he throws him into the corner to get this matchup started. Oh, a wicked elbow to the face there, and a takedown. He takes him down to the ground, Brad. He's wrestling around. They're Kevin on wrestling. top. Oh, oh, my goodness. How'd the ref not see that? He kicks him square in the nads. Great low blow. And he throws him right out of the ring. What is the referee blind? He can't even see them. Low blow. The Watch Miz. out, Kevin. We've seen this before. Oh, here comes the Miz with that sliding baseball. Oh, he catches him. Oh, he caught him. Kevin Owens caught him. He's looking for the pop-up. Oh. He made power bomb him. Oh. oh, he slipped away. Oh, oh. Super, super kick good. right in the face of the Miz. And Kevin Owens, quick on his feet, did not allow the Miz to, you know, take anything off that reversal of the power bomb. I thought he was going to powerbomb oh, him straight the lane. I thought he was going to powerbomb on that barricade there, but he is wailing on Jeez. Kevin Owens now. My goodness, after the takedown. <gasps> oh, my goodness. It's El Generico again. It's, my hero's here. This has been happening multiple weeks now. Another week, another interruption from El Generico. This said he had something planned, though. No interruption. Oh, and here comes El Generico right now. He's right there, Brad. Oh my oh god! My god! It's the hurricane! He has finally crash landed at Vindication! What will he do? My other hero! El Generico totally confused Where's here. He at? Hurricane nowhere to be found. This was the Mrs. plan all along. He had a he had a hurricane in his pocket. Oh, Jesus. What? oh my god, look. What the hell is that? He's pointing up at the rafters here, the scaffolding and Oh my god! He's coming down on Jesus! The El Generico gets crushed by He hurricane. is here! My God, he's here! The hurricane he is here! He just flattened El Generico! And this, this, the ref has no decision here. He's got to call the matchup. But Miz will retain his championship after the interference from Generico and Hurricane. And my God, Hurricane is here now on Vindication. And it looks like the Miz and oh, Hurricane gonna, are going to... Oh, they're going to stomp gonna away. some frustration. They're going to take it out on El Generico here as Kevin Owens is finally making it back to his feet. Help him, Kevin. Oh, the Hurricane notices real fast, Brad. They're, they're making a run for it. And Kevin Owens. Oh, my God. They haven't been friends in years. El Generico looking for the handshake, and Kevin Owens is very hesitant. Oh, no. Yeah, doesn't even accept it. What is good, everybody? It is Straight From My Damn Toys telling you that Elite 60 is literally going to be in stock at Ringside Collectibles any day now. Go over there, save yourself 10%, use the promo code MDTOYS, pick up these amazing figures. Elias and Triple H are definitely must-haves.
Well, it looks like Adam Cole has been assaulted by somebody, but they didn't ass out. They didn't take any of the money. That's so strange here, but uh, we have American Alpha in the ring. They're set to take on the Young Bucks from the Bullet Club here tonight in a Tornado Tag Team match. Making their way to the ring from California, weighing in a combined weight of 350 pounds, Matt and Nick Jackson, the Young Bucks. Definitely an interesting matchup here tonight between American Alpha, Chad Gable and Jason Jordan taking on Matt and Nick Jackson, the Young Bucks. Uh, certainly, you know, whichever team wins this, you know, they got to be in contention for those MVT tag titles. Absolutely. We haven't seen the Revival defend them once, so it should be interesting here we to go. see here. And uh oh, too sweet. Oh, 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 to the eyes. I poke square in the face there as they too sweet each other. Brothers Matt and Nick Jackson going straight at Chad Gable here. Is, oh my Ooh. goodness, they flip right out of the ring here, and uh, oh, into a suplex. Chad Gable nailing his spinal cord. Right into that apron there. It look looks like, Nick. look at Matt going oh off the God. back there onto the scaffolding. Oh, look, out. look at a short little moonsault off the scaffolding there. Very innovative. Takes out Chad Gable as Nick Jackson Whoa. trying to uh, get on top there. Don't even know what's happening. Oh, oh. we do a super kick. Oh, oh. and another kick. Oh. oh, and he finishes him off with another one. My God. Oh, and he's not done with a reverse oh. blockbuster to Jason Jordan. Jason Jordan has to be unconscious. He took like three super kicks. Oh, oh he backs Gable into the corner there. Gets him off of him. And oh, my goodness. Oh, oh. taking some notes out of Jeff Hardy's playbook here. Oh, Jesus, brutal. Very nice by Matt Jackson here. Oh, and a kick, kick to, to the, the skull. Face. And oh, I, I think I know what's coming oh next, Oh, my Brad. God. First time on Vindication. Oh, here it comes. Meltzer Driver! Right there, Brad. Good Lord, Chad Gable is done for. And the Young Bucks Hell pick yeah. up the victory over American Alpha here. American Alpha 0-2 here on Vindication, and the Bucks start off strong. It looks like Matt Jackson has some words. Yeah. All right, here come the Revival. Looks like they are accepting this, Brad. They are Say yeah! They are answering the call here. Matt Jackson calling out the Revival, and uh, it looks like the Revival have some words for the Bucks themselves. Oh wow, Brad, the Revival accept the challenge and the, Look at the Bucks excited. They're ecstatic about the I'm excited. It looks like next week the MVT tag titles will be on the line as the Revival will take on the Young Bucks in a Tornado Tag Team matchup. Should be very interesting here as the Bucks give a two sweep. What is good everybody, it's Trey from My Damn Toys telling you to go ahead and hit that subscribe button and hit the bell notification so you never miss an MDT upload. MDT Live Episode 7 is coming very, very soon and you never want to miss that. We also do a lot more epic WWE figure content here on the channel. We're back here live for our main event, Brad, and we got Cody Rhodes in the ring waiting on his opponent, Samoan Joseph. And this should be an interesting one. Cody Rhodes didn't even want an entrance. He just walked straight down to the ring, making his way to the ring from Huntington Beach, California, weighing in at 282 pounds, Samoa Joe. If you don't remember, Joe choked Cody's ass out. 
couple weeks ago. I remember Brad, and then he said after their little jungle gym match that he will be waiting for him here tonight on Vindication. So that is what we are about to see here. Cody Rhodes taking on Samoa Joe. Cody Rhodes unfortunately did not win the Bullet Club Money in the Bank matchup for the 250 grand at Money in the Bank, but uh, he sure can earn a good victory over Samoa Joe here tonight. The ref had to get Samoa Joe under control here. The bell has rang, and here oh, he we go. Oh, he slipped under. Oh, uh, Cody Rhodes going right at Samoa Joe. He's trying to take Go him for down a touch of his own. Oh, he backs him into the corner there. That'll hurt the spinal cord. Oh! oh! Pele kicked him right in the face as Samoa Joe is on the offense now. Lifting him up. Gets him back on the turnbuckle there. Oh! oh and he clotheslines him straight off. He fell all the way to the Jesus, outside. What a fall. My God, he fell forever. It seemed like here. It's, oh, my God! Oh, that had to have crushed Cody Rhodes' torso. My goodness. Good God. Sinton off the apron. I don't think I've ever seen that let alone from a 280-pound grown man like Samoa Joe. Joe grabbing his towel. He's got the towel. Watch You're out. indeed right. Oh, oh Iranagi. my God. Iranagi to Cody Rhodes, and he is, oh, my God. He's Good got him on. Like, is this not a disqualification? Oh. My goodness gracious. He had him by the throat there with a the towel for a second. Oh, oh my, my God. God. He's crucifying his him right His feet now. are off the ground. He's literally hanging from the towel. He's choking the life out of him, and the referee. He's choking a grown man. Help him. Get him. He got, oh, oh, and he pulls Joe right over the apron. My God. These referees obviously don't know what the hell they're doing on vindication. This they, is Kenny's show, man. The absence of Shane McMahon is apparent. There's low blows and just towel chokings, and nobody gives a damn here as Cody Rhodes is finally making it back to his feet here. And, uh, I mean, my God, he choked the man out with a towel. Oh, Look here, out now. Samoa Joe. Oh, oh, he comes up empty. My goodness, he almost flipped right over the barricade. Dropped a knee on the nose. And Cody adds insult to injury with that drop to the nose. You're right, Brad. Samoa Joe telling Cody to come get it. My God, did he get it. He Ever brought it. He brought it right to his face, Brad. A kick straight to the skull. Cody Rhodes sliding back in the ring. Samoa Joe trying to make it back onto his feet here. Oh, and Cody Rhodes is... Showing the crowd what he's about. Showbutting a little bit in the ring. This man did almost choke to death. My Look God. Out. That's why you don't turn your back on Samoa Joe. Oh, he's got the he's got the clutch locked in. Oh my god, this could be it. This could be it. He's got the clutch locked in. Brad, he can choke him out right here. Oh, Cody going over the corner. Oh my god. Oh, he runs right over the top. Oh my oh, god! Crossroads. crossroads! He is up with crossroads. What a reversal! What a reversal by Rhodes! <laughs> Unbelievable. And Cody Rhodes picks up the victory over Samoa Joe. My goodness, what a what a great reversal there by Cody Rhodes to use the turnbuckle to his advantage. Reverse it into a crossroads, and he wins the matchup over Joe. And it looks like he's got some words for us now, Brad. So Cody Rhodes calling out Drew McIntyre, and it looks like Drew McIntyre is going to answer the challenge here as he is making his way to the ring. And uh, Cody Rhodes wants a ladder match to Drew McIntyre. You know, the Iron Man Championship is a stipulation-only belt, so you have to, you know, defend it in some sort of matchup. And Cody Rhodes is wanting a ladder match. Hell yeah. Big news next week. Not only will we have an NDT Tag Team Championship match, but it looks like the Iron Man Championship will also be on the line in a ladder match between Cody Rhodes and Drew McIntyre. Can't wait. We will see you guys at MDT Live Episode 7.